Well, we're here with uh, British super middleweight Frank. I was going to say Buglioni, but in fact it is. Oh, I'm going to give you an Italian this now, Silent G, so uh, Buglioni. Buglioni, and where do the uh, Buglioni family originate from? Uh, Naples. Naples? Oh, right. Oh, so we've really got to be on best behaviour then, huh? <laughs> We're in London now, and uh, well, that's where I'm born and bred, so I consider myself more uh, English than I do Italian. It's a matter of interest then, uh, Italy are playing England in the in the World Cup, aren't they? Yeah. So, who are you going for? My loyalty is like with England. Okay. Uh, obviously, second second best would be, uh, be Italy. Fantastic. So, if England don't win the World Cup, and let's be honest, they won't, uh, <laughs> then Italy. That's right, I'll be rooting for them. Fantastic. Now, Frank... Um, you fought 11 times as a professional, you've won all 11, you've got another one coming up at the Copper Box uh, in a three weeks time or so. Um, in no time at all you've got yourself a bit of a reputation and a massive fan base as well. Yeah. 700 odd follow you everywhere and they do the Poznan. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, phenomenal for considering I've only had a handful of fights. Um, I've got a lot of thanks over to, uh, to my brother and my family for really going out of their way to ship tickets and getting their friends involved. So it's a, it's a close knit group. And where are the fans come from? They can't all be family. Um, no, it's, it's family and friends and friends and family. Um, but yeah, predominantly London. We've been getting a few from Scotland come down now and, and guys that are watching it on Box Nation and then they're coming down from Farfield. And uh, when they do the pause down, do they do it during or after? It's always a celebration dance. Is it? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, that's that's absolutely brilliant. And um, you know, you're super middleweight, obviously. Um, for me, the heavyweights are the super middleweights of the kings of boxing. Um, talk about some of your some of your heroes growing up. Oh, well, I'd say um, Joe Calzaghe, uh, definitely probably one of the best British super middles. Um, and then I used to like watching Nigel Mann, Chris Eubank, a little bit more before my time, but I've since watched their uh, their videos. And then obviously internationally, I like Roy Jones Jr., James Tony. Bernard Hopkins when he was a super middle, so yeah, there's been plenty of talent. Before your time, but I bet you uh, got to see the uh, the Hearns Hagler fights and the Duans and the Leonards. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're the classics, and I think they sort of set the standard for the modern day fights. Who have you got your sights on then, Frank? I mean, obviously, you've got a few more wins to get under your belt and you've got to keep learning and learning, but hopefully, you can carry on as you are in the not too distant future. Who are the sort of the big scouts you'd need? Well, I'd say domestically, uh, Rocky Field and Cameron Smith are both holding titles, and obviously Paul Smith, um, they're holding a domestic title, so all of those three, they're definitely on my radar. Um, and then above and beyond that, it's James McGill, George Groves, and Carl Frosch. Yeah, that, by the way, what a fight that was. I bet you watched that, didn't you? Yeah, Where did he stand on that on Frosch Groves at the ending? Uh, I thought it was a little bit premature. Um, I mean, Carl Frosch, though, he's a renowned puncher, um, and he come on strong, but I would like to have seen maybe another 10, 15 seconds and see what the outcome was. But yeah. We'll never know. No, we'll never know. Now, you're called the wise guy. Explain why. Uh, probably the Italian connotations and the roots there and um, some savvy management. Oh, <laughs> so it's not just because you're intelligent, which obviously you are, but it's, it's more the sort of Italian, good fellows, wise guy. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, listen, um, what's going to happen on... Where is it now? The 15th of February. Yeah. Okay, tell us who you're fighting. Uh, a fellow called Gaetano Nespro, so an Italian fighter for a fruit. Um, be the first Italian I fought. That'd be interesting. Um, it'll, be, it'll be another win for myself. Hopefully a knockout, but a win uh, for them for sure. All right, best of luck. Cheers, thanks very much.